Has anyone ever heard of the Fontas self-filling water bottle? Well, it sounds like a good idea, but um, unfortunately it isn't, and I'll explain why. It works um, on a Peltier device, um, which basically generates a temperature difference when you pass an electric current through it. So, this is the hot side, and because they do generate so much heat, um, simple air cooling um, isn't enough unless you have a really large heat sink. And I noticed uh, in one of the illustrations they've actually got the wrong way around where the cold side had the massive heat sink and the hot side had the small heat sink. So provided they could actually get enough power to it from a solar panel, it's about the size of the end of this battery, um, it just wouldn't, um, it would actually overheat, provided they could get enough power. So this Peltier device here is drawing 143 watts. To get 143 watts from a solar panel, I'll show you what you need. You're going to need about two of those. These two, these are 100 watts each. Um, and for the thing to work reliably in our weather, you probably want three of these panels. So that's how much solar panels you need to make a Fontas bottle. Can't remember off the top of my head, but um, the claim, I think it could, was about a few ounces of water an hour, or I think it was about, it said half a litre an hour, something like that, but it was something ridiculous anyway. Now if we look at this, this thing running um, at the power it is, 143 watts just now, there is some condensation on the surface. Uh, you might be able to uh, give a mouse a drink, this thing's been running for about uh, 10 minutes now. And it's running at 14.8 volts at 9.6 amps. But it does take a lot of energy to condense water out of the air, especially when you're using one of these. A Peltier element at refrigeration, um, at refrigeration it is very, very inefficient. I can't remember how inefficient, but I think it was about 5% or something like that. Whereas a compressor-based refrigeration system, they can theoretically, well, they're roughly about 60% efficient um, in some cases. So, really the Fontas water bottle is, is a load of rubbish and it just cannot work unless you have enormous solar panels. Um, and especially in Scotland, uh, something like that is, is, is just going to be useless with a panel which is roughly the size of the end of this battery here. And that's quite sad the amount of people that buy into rubbish like that because um, I watched a video done by Thunderfoot actually and uh, they've raised a heck of a lot of money and there's like all these um, all these other like newspapers or other um, online sort of article companies that are uh, believing in this um, and that's quite sad really but yeah that's all I wanted to say on the matter um, and while I've been talking what well, there's like maybe some little drips on it yeah, it's got, a, it's got a little bit on it, but honestly, to you from me, it's not even going to work. I've, I've not even got a single drop fall off this yet. Um, and there's a fan blowing air over it and everything. And the air coming off it is quite cold, but it's not going to work. If you want water from the air, buy a dehumidifier. A compressor-based one. <laughs>